Well, everybody say amen. Hallelujah on this National Day of Prayer. We're just so glad that the Lord has given us an opportunity to pray today. And we just thank the Lord. For those of you that are on every day with us on Monday through Friday, please stay on the line. Those of you that's on our daily prayer line, we want you to know that God is with you. And you would just have to listen to us today as I've got a list of ministers and pastors that are going to be praying today. Thank you for tuning in. God loves you. God bless you. My name is Pastor Alvin Simpkins. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Thank you for the spirit of the living God. It's not by power nor by might, but it is by your spirit. So spirit of the living God, we pray over our nation. We pray over our families in the name of Jesus. And we just thank you. You said, if my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then would I hear from heaven, forgive their sin and heal their land. Thank you for all your help, Lord. Thank you for your goodness to America. Thank you for blessing our nation. Yeah. Thank you for helping us. Yeah. You are still with us yes, you are. in America today. You, we just want to say thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' in name. mighty name we pray. Yeah. Somebody say amen. Amen. Would you welcome Pastor Carmel Simpkins as she leads us in prayer today. God is good. God bless you today on this day of national prayers. We pray together. We're going to pray for pastors and ministry leaders. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for our pastors and ministry leaders across the nation. We pray, Father, that the blood of Jesus would cover them. We pray that our pastors would clearly hear God's direction, that they would trust in the Lord with all of their heart and lean not to their own understanding. In all of our ways, as we acknowledge him, he will direct our paths so father bless our ministry leaders and our pastors we pray that they would have courage and strength and that they would go forward as you commanded joshua have i not commanded you be strong and courageous do not be frightened do not be dismayed for where the lord your god is with you wherever you go so we pray that you lead them we pray that you guide them in the name of jesus by the power of the holy spirit take the blinders off may they hear you at the night may they hear you during the day and may they follow your direction and your guidance we pray for their focus god that they keep their minds stayed on you you said seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things would be added unto you so we pray that matthew 6 33 would be relevant for every pastor every minister leader in the name of jesus we pray that they would have the blessing of wisdom James 1 5 and 6 says if any lacks wisdom let him ask God who will give it generously to all so in the name of Jesus increase their wisdom increase their insight increase their discernment in the name of Jesus Lord we pray that their minds would be stayed on you and you would keep them in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you we pray that pastors and ministry leaders would trust in the Lord with all of their heart that they would trust God and lean not to their own understanding so we honor you we praise you we bless you God that pastors would walk by faith and not by sight so faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. We pray that you would use the life of every pastor and ministry leader, that they would fulfill their purpose in God. They would fulfill their plan in God. In the name of Jesus, we pray a protection over every pastor and ministry leader, the protection of God, the unction of God, the leading of God, the direction of God, and the power of the anointing. So we plead the blood of Jesus over their lives. We plead the blood of Jesus over their families. We ask you to protect them. We ask you to keep them. In the name of Jesus, we pray for pastors and ministry leaders. In Jesus' name, we pray. We thank you for them right now, God. We give you praise and honor and glory for each pastor and ministry leader. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness. Everybody say, Lord, thank you. Thank you for a mind to pray, a heart to pray. In Jesus' name, we just honor you. We worship you. We magnify you. We praise you because you are God all by yourself. On this national day of prayer, we just cry out. We cry out. 
for our nation. We cry out for our children. In Jesus' name, we pray. Pastor Calvin Nelson is going to come and lead us for politics. In Jesus' name, we pray. Thank you. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus yeah. for our politicians today. In the name of Jesus, yeah. because this is on a national level. God, we have leadership. We have our president. We have a vice president. We have the Senate. We have the Congress. These are leaders, God, yeah. and they need our prayer right in the name of Jesus. And so, God, we ask that you send your anointing in the White House. Send your anointing in the Pentagon. Send your anointing in our armed forces. Send your anointing, God, and let them make righteous decisions according to Proverbs 3 and 5 and 6. God, let them acknowledge you in all their ways. And you, the God of heaven, you, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you, the God of all, will direct their path. Let them not lean to their own understanding, God, but let them hear the voice of God when they call on you. Thank you for this national day of prayer when the whole nation of God should come together, God, in their secret place and call upon your name. And when they do, God, we will see the virus eradicated in the name of Jesus. We will see the demons tremble. God, we will see sickness and disease. Hallelujah. Just go away. Hallelujah. To the pits of hell. We just thank you right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Now use our president, God. Use him in what he's doing. Give him wisdom and knowledge and understanding and instruction in righteousness. And let it be passed on down to the Senate, the White House, the Congress, and all who are in authority. Hallelujah. You told us to pray for them so that they, so that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. Lord, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh, Amen. thank you. Amen. Oh, Amen. somebody give the Lord a hand clap. Thank you, Lord, for all your help. Thank you for your blessings, your favor in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Somebody say amen. Would you welcome Minister uh, Teresa Hawkins Harris that's going to lead us in prayer for our marriages today. In Jesus' name. Today, oh God. Lord, we're standing on your word today regarding marriages. Oh God, as we read from Proverbs 18 and 22, whoso findeth a wife, findeth a good thing and obtaineth favor of the Lord. Father God, we come before you right now, God, lifting up marriages unto you. Father, we ask you right now to touch every man and every woman, oh God. We ask that you give them favor because they have obtained it of you, God. Lord, bless every marriage. Anoint them now in the name of Jesus. We take authority over divorce. We take authority over conflict. We take authority over disagreements. We take authority over division in the name of Jesus. Bless their marriage, God. Anoint their household. Bless their family. Bless their children, oh God. Lord, we know they find favor in the city. They find favor in the field because they are married, oh God. And you call men and women to love one another, God. And they love you, God, in all that they do. Lord, bless them. Let healing flow in every marriage, oh God. Lord, we ask that you bless them right now, God, that they stand up strong before you. Oh, God, in their households, in their relationships, oh, God. Oh, God, let prosperity flow in every marriage. God, we thank you. God, we glorify you. Let them worship your name together. God, let them stand solid and firm on the word of God. Use them, God, in their union. Use them in the house of God. Use them, oh God, in their families. 
Welcome, please, Elder William Harris. He's going to pray over our finances all across this nation. God is a good God, and he loves us. Father, in the name of Jesus, yes. we come before you right now, Lord God, giving you praise for the money that is coming our way. We thank you for finances from the north, from the west, from the east, and from the south. Lord, we thank you right now that you're blessing us, oh God, with our money today. Let our income today be our time tomorrow. In the name of Jesus, send it right now, Lord God. We need your help, Lord, in our money, Father God. You said in your word uh, that you will open up the windows of heaven uh, and pour us out a blessing that there will not be room enough to receive it. Uh, and St. Luke 6 and 38, uh, it says, Give, and it shall be given unto you. Press down, shaken together, shall men give unto your bosom. We claim it right now in the name of Jesus. Send the money right now. Bless your people, Lord God, with finances, oh God. We pray for supernatural overflow to overflow their money. Let money be in the bank. Huh? Let money be in the bank, Lord God, to upbuild your kingdom. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, stretch out a hand right now. Bless us with our finances. Help us to give unto you, Lord, to give unto your kingdom in the name of Jesus. And we say it's done by the power of God. It's done by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yeah! Thank you. Oh, come on, somebody clap your hands. Thank you for all your help. Thank you for all your blessings. Thank you for all your favor. Thank you for all your strength. In Jesus' name, the name that's above every name. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. Thank you for all your help. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody shout hallelujah. Oh, God is a good God. He loves you. If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then would I hear from heaven, forgive their sin and heal their land. That's the heartbeat of God for our nation today. We are his people. And he said, if my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then would I hear from heaven, forgive their sin, and heal their land. Amen. On this National Day of Prayer, we want you to know that God is going to hear us. God is going to answer us. God is going to bless us. Thank you, Lord, for all your help. Thank you, Lord, for all your help. Agree with us. Agree with us. Pray with us. Stand with us. In Jesus' name we pray. We want to welcome Minister, Tra Minister Tracy Walker that will come and lead us in prayer. Thank God for you being there. Don't touch that dial. Share the, share the video. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Father God, we want to thank you for allowing us to be here another day. Yeah. Father God, we thank you, oh God, that you have healed us today, oh thank Father. You, thank we you. thank you, Father God, that you have called us on this national day of prayer yeah. to be in the heavenly realm 
right now with you, oh God. We thank you, oh Father, for coming down, oh God, today, Father God. We know today is a special day, but every day that we can come for prayer is a special day. It's a special day, oh God, for your people to be as one across the land, oh God. And Father God, today we want to stand before you, oh God. We want to pray against this disease, this virus, oh God, that try to take us out, oh God. That try to take us out, oh Father, but you protected us, oh God. You protected us from the coronavirus. You protected us from every virus that has come down over the years, oh God. And we can stand before you today, oh God. And they say that we are healed, oh God. We may have to wear masks, but that's all right. We may have to stand apart, but that's all right. Because we have been healed, oh God. You have healed the United States of America. You have healed us in the land, oh God. You have called us to stand, oh God, before the nation can say that we believe, oh God, that you have healed us, oh God. The Lord that the coronavirus has gone over, oh God, our church. It has gone over our homes, oh God. We anointed our churches. We anointed our homes when we first heard about the coronavirus. And it went over like it did the children of Israel when he told them to put the blood over the doorpost. Put the blood of the lamb, oh God. We are covered by the blood of the lamb. We are covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. And we can stand here today and say, oh God, that we are healed from the virus. It will not come near our dwelling. It will come not near our bodies, oh God. It will come not near our children, oh God. Oh God, thank you, oh Father, for the vaccine, oh God, that you sent in the land. Thank you for the vaccine, oh God, that we have been able to get. Thank you, oh God, for protecting our bodies, oh God, from the crown of our head to the very soles of our feet, oh God. We bind the spirit of disease, oh God. We bind the spirit, oh God, of anything that tries to come in our body and take it over and attack us, oh God. We are blessed, oh God, by you. We are blessed, oh God. And we thank you today, Father God, for everything that you do for your children, everything that you do, oh God, for your children that you love. We have a loving God. We have a God who loves us so much that he sent his son to die and he shed his blood on Calvary. Oh God, to protect us, oh God. We thank you right now, Father God, that you will continue, oh God, as we go through this year, Father God, as some of us are going to travel, Father God. We ask you right now, Father God, to protect us, oh God. Protect us from foreign objects, oh God. Protect us, oh God, from anything that might try to get on the airplane, oh God. We protect us, oh God, from anything, oh God, that might try to take us out, Father God. You are the one that tells us, Father God, when we go. We don't let any virus tell us when we're going to leave this earth. We trust in you. Some men trust in horses and chariots, but we trust in the name of the Lord. We trust in the name of the Lord. Oh, God, we trust in you every day, Father God. So, Father God, we thank you. What an honor it is to stand here on the National Day of Prayer and pray. Oh, God, pray with my brothers and my sisters to stand here before the nations and say, we trust in God. We don't trust in politics. We don't trust in, oh God, the senators and all those people, oh God, in the White House. We trust in the name of the Lord. We trust in Jesus Christ. We will say his name from the beginning until the end. We will say Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. We don't bow down to anyone except the name of Jesus. Oh, Father God, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Father God, we thank you again thank you. for this day, yeah. this beautiful day. Oh, Father, it's a beautiful day outside. It's a beautiful day in the sanctuary. It's a beautiful day. Oh, God, in your presence, and we say thank you. Ask you, oh, God, to bless every man and woman that's here today that's opening up their mouth and giving the prayers, oh, God. We thank you, Father God, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 And amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. He loves you. Everything is going to be all right. God is a good God. On this national day of prayer, we just want to pause and ask God for help. Somebody just shout, shout help. We just ask God for help. David said, I look to the hill when cometh my help. All of my help 
come from the Lord. We ask you, Lord, for help, supernatural help in every area of our lives. Lord, we need your help. Thank you for supernatural help. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody just shout, help! Would you welcome Minister Jordan Simpkins as he lead us in prayer, praying for our youth and our children. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we just want to set the atmosphere, God, for you to come in, Lord Jesus. Have your way. I lift my voice to worship you, oh my soul, rejoice, take joy my King, in what you today, Lord Jesus, that you would cover our youth, Lord Jesus. I just wanted to worship your name real quick, Lord God, because, Lord Jesus, we don't want to take our seed for granted, Lord Jesus. And I praise you and I worship you, Lord God, for the life that you have given us, Lord God, when we get to see the life unfold from generation to generation, God. When we get to see the life unfold from year to year, God, from day to day, God, from month to month, God, from week to week, God, from generation to generation, Father, you prove the fact that you are God. I thank you today, Lord God, that you would cover our little children. You said, suffer the little children and forbid them not to come unto me. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. I ask today, Lord Jesus, that the kingdom of heaven, Lord God, would come down here on earth, Lord God, through our children, Lord. That our children would grow up in you, Father. They would grow up in your will and grow up in your way, Lord Jesus. That our children would grow up in your statutes, Lord God, in your laws, Lord Jesus. That they would not be driven toward the right or to the left, Lord. Lord God. They would not be driven, Lord, by negative influence, Lord God, or lack of identity, Lord Jesus. We thank you today. We thank you today, Lord Jesus, for our children. And I ask today, Lord, that you cover them with a hedge of protection, God. Coming and going, Father. We ask, Lord Jesus, that there be an ethereal garment, Lord Jesus, that you would display over our children, Lord God, that no hurt, harm, or danger would come into their lives, Lord Jesus. They would have favor with God and man. I thank you today, Lord Jesus, for supernatural favor to cover them, Lord God, to protect them, Lord Jesus. Jesus, to keep them, Father, wherever they go. I thank you that you would touch their minds, Lord Jesus. Unlock supernatural gifts, Lord. Unlock supernatural authority, God. Unlock supernatural blessings, God. Unlock supernatural wisdom, Father, in our children so much so, Lord God, that they're able to do things, Lord Jesus, that's supernatural here on the natural realm of earth, Lord God. We thank you today, Lord Jesus, they would draw 
Lord God, the ability of Christ into their life, Lord Jesus, that they would walk, Lord God, in your ways and in your statutes, and that they would draw nearer to you, Father, each and every day, Lord God. We ask that you would bless the relationships that they come across, Lord God, friendships and loved ones, Lord Jesus, that they would deal with, Lord God, on a regular basis, Lord. We pray today that you would keep them and that you would bless them, Lord. We come against any attack of the enemy, Lord Jesus, that would try to destroy from them, Lord. But we ask today, Lord God, that you would set the crooked place straight, Lord God. You would order their steps, Lord God, from any hurt, harm, and danger, Lord Jesus. We thank you today that the best is still yet to come in our children's lives. We call in, Lord God, even young adults, Lord God, children that are growing up, Father, even as they grow, Lord Jesus, that your grace go with them, Lord God. Your mercy cover them and lead them and guide them, Lord Jesus, that they would, Lord, live out their lives fully, Lord Jesus. We come against them dying young, Lord Jesus. We come against them losing their lives, Lord God. We pray against any addiction, Lord Jesus, that would try to steal from their time, Lord God, and that you would unlock, Father, the blessing, the anointing, Father, of them being able to move forward, Lord Jesus, that the best is still yet to come in their lives, Lord God. We pray against any depression, any stress, any anxiety, any hurt, Lord God, anything, Lord Jesus, that would take from them Lord God but we lose Lord Jesus your power the Bible says whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven and whatever you loose on earth is loose in the heavens we bind up anything that is not like you and we loose Lord God your grace and your mercy to be upon our children Lord God to help them to grow in your will and in your way Lord Jesus we thank you Lord God for good influence Lord Jesus they would be influenced by you Lord God empowered by you God teachers that you bring into their life God I thank you today that they would be teachers Lord that would pour into them Lord in a great and mighty way Father that they would be teachers Lord Jesus that lead them and guide them Lord Jesus in your will and in your way Father teachers Lord Jesus that would show them reading writing and arithmetic Lord God that they won't just push Lord God in uh, 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 nothing to the knowledge Lord God that won't bless them Father but would push them with knowledge that would help them Lord in the routine of their lives Father we thank you for that today Lord Jesus that you would keep them healthy God I call in good health to our children I call in good health to our children I call in good health to our children father that they would have good health in their body strong and of a good courage athletic ability Lord Jesus bless them in their athletics father bless them Lord Jesus in every area of their lives God and we worship your name for our children God we bless your name for our children God we honor you for it today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap. Thank you, Lord, for all your goodness and all your mercy, all your grace, all your favor on this day of national prayer. We just pause to cry out. We just pause to call out. We just pause to ask God for help. Somebody just holler, help. Put it on the screen. Help. Lord, we need your help. We need your help in America today. We need your help. Thank you for all your help in our lives today. Thank God for the church. In this hour, we need the church in America today. Uh, Jesus said, upon this rock, I build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Thank God for the house of prayer. I would have never made it if it had not been for the church. God loves the church. Today, Minister Eileen uh, is going to walk is going to come and lead us in prayer, praying for God's blessing, God's favor upon the church. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for this national day of prayer. And Father God, as we lift up the church, the body of Christ, we thank you, Lord God, for the members, the Christians in this nation and yeah. indeed around the world. Yeah. And Father God, we thank you, Lord God, that we can come before you and pray and intercede that the will of God be done on earth yeah. as it is in heaven. Yeah. And so, Father God, we thank you for your word. And we thank you, Lord God, as it says in Second Chronicles 7, 14, and Pastor already talked about it. He said, if my people who are called by my name, yeah. that's the body of Christ, will humble themselves and pray. And Lord God, today on this national day of prayer, yeah. we humble ourselves before you, Lord God. Yeah, yeah. 
and we seek your face and we ask your help, Lord God. In and of ourselves, we're not sufficient, but we're sufficient in you, Lord God, and we need your help. And then it said, if my people will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, forgive their sin and heal their land. And so, Lord God, this day as we come before you in prayer, Lord God, as we come before you to seek your face and your help, Lord God, as we come before you this day, Lord God, we humble ourselves before you and we ask your help, Lord God. We ask you to help us as individuals, Lord God. Help us as the body of Christ. Help us as the church, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We ask you to help us to bring unity and oneness, that we're in agreement of one heart and one soul, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, we ask you to help us to unify in you, Lord God. And then, Father God, we ask you to stir us up and give us zeal, Lord God, that we can be about your business in the name of Jesus. And so, Father God, we thank you and we give you praise, Lord God. And then, Father God, we ask that your truth, we ask that your truth come forth, come forth, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord God, that we know that your word is truth. And your word talks about the word of God. It is quick. It is powerful. It is sharper than any two-edged sword. It pierces even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit, the joints and the marrow, and is a discerner of your thoughts and intents of the heart. And so, Lord God, let your word come forth in our heart and let it prevail, Lord God, and help us as your people, the body of Christ, to be not conformed to this world, but to be transformed by the renewing of our minds, that we may know what is that good, that we may know what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Help us today, Lord God, as the body of Christ. And then, Father God, we know as the body of Christ, as your people, that you did not give us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind, Lord God. And so, Lord God, we ask that that love prevail in our hearts, Lord God. We ask that your love flows in us, that love that you have shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. Let it flow out of us, Lord God, to touch other Christians, to touch the nations, Lord God, for your glory. And we thank you for that. We know your will is not anyone should perish, that no man should perish. Your word says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And so we know it's your will that no man should perish, but all should come into the knowledge of the truth. And so, Father God, we thank you, Lord God. We lift up your people, the body of Christ, to you, Lord God. We lift them up to you, and we thank you for who you are, Lord God. And we thank you for your love on us. And so, Father God, as we lift up this day, this national day of prayer today, Lord God, we thank you for a nation that we can come and pray with freedom and liberty, Lord God. We thank you for what you're doing in this nation, Lord God. And Father God, we thank you, Father God, that you're turning hearts to you, Lord God. And as we even lift up our our family members to you, Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, that you're drawing them in by your spirit, Lord God. And so we lift up the body of Christ, Lord God. We lift up the church to you, Lord God. And we ask your help, and we ask you to continue to work in the hearts of the men and women, boys and girls, Lord God. We ask you to work in this nation, Lord God, that our hearts are turned to you. And so we give you honor and we give you glory, Lord God. We thank you for your love that you give us, Lord God. And we give you praise and glory and honor in Jesus' name.
Amen. Amen. Thank the Lord for his goodness. Come on, somebody. Give the Lord a hand clap for his goodness and all of his mercy. Oh, how we worship, how we praise you on this National Day of Prayer. We pause to say we love you. We need your help. We thank you for all your many blessings. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you for your goodness and all your mercy. At this time, we're going to pray for our families all across America that need God's help that need God's help in their mental institutions, families that need help in their mind, families that need God's help in every area of their lives. Elder Ronnie Smith is going to lead us in prayer. Thank the Lord for our families. Praise you, praise you, praise you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for another day, Lord. Lord, I love the scripture I read this morning. And this is what Lord spoke into Abram. He says, I made him a promise in Genesis 12 and 3. It says, I will bless those who bless you. And I will curse you, curse them who curse you coronavirus you're cursed finances you're cursed all of these things that not of God is cursed and he says and in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed yes. so father God we thank you for each and every family today Lord yes. we thank you for each and every father today each and every mother today Lord each and every brother and sister today Lord each and every cousin uncle nephew relative in your families today you yes. are blessed today Lord because God has given you a blessing today Lord and we want to come before you today and give you the praises we will bow down to the father Lord we will bow down only to you Lord shall we bow down to Lord because you are the Lord of Lord and the King of Kings it is you who have made us and not ourselves today Lord so Lord we call on you today Lord to just continue to bless each and every family of Emmanuel Christian Center Lord whether they're here today and whether they're listening in Lord we are asking that you will continue to bless the families today Lord bless the families not only here in Emmanuel Christian Center but throughout the world today Lord because this is a national day of prayer today Lord so we're not just praying for Emmanuel Christian Center we are praying for the world today, Lord. We are praying for each and every person out there in this world today, Lord. We are praying for every family, Lord, from the White House family to the Lord's family in America today, Lord, because we all need your help today, Lord, because we know we can call on you today, Lord, and we will not fall short of letting you know that you are the Lord of Lord and the King of Kings, that you are the great I am. It is you who loved us so much that you gave your only begotten son that whom should believe in him should not perish but have an everlasting life lord so we are here to let you know that we love you we adore you we lift our arms to you father because you are such a great god today lord and lord we thank you for what you're doing lord you have paid every bill today lord we know that we can call on you and that you will continue to pay the bills today lord you are a big god you are an awesome god and you are worthy to be praised lord so we pray for the family today lord we let you continue to bless the families today lord we ask that you will bless the young children who are in school today lord bless the fathers who are watching over them, lord continue to let the fathers have jobs today lord let them not lack today lord we ask those mothers who may have lost jobs this year lord that you will give those jobs back to them today lord lord we thank you for the families today lord because we are your children lord you have made us today lord so we thank you for each and every family wherever they may be at today lord and we say lift you up on high and we will continue to call on you today lord and we say thank you and we give you all the praises in jesus name amen and amen amen thank the lord for his goodness oh bless his name bless the lord oh my soul and all that's within me bless his holy name father we pray for the military we thank you for every soldier male or female young or old we pray for the military thank you for the military in our nation thank you for the military around the world thank you for the military that fight for us freedom is not free some laid down their lives some laid down their lives that we would walk in freedom today thank you for every soldier every leader every general in the name every private in jesus name thank you for our military today in jesus name we pray on this national day of prayer we call out for your help somebody just shout help we call out for your help for our military protect them lead them bless them guide them in jesus name we pray somebody say amen would you welcome minister cynthia smith as she pray on this national day of prayer for business in the workplace god bless you thank you lord thank you lord dear heavenly father lord we come before you in the name of jesus just being 
thankful to you, Lord, because you are mindful of us. You're mindful of us. So thank you, Lord, for blessing us with jobs and careers and businesses that where we can receive wages. For it is, you, it is you who gives us the ability to get wealth. Thank you for the gifts and the talents you have blessed us with, Father. Father, we give you, give us a fresh anointing, a supply on our jobs, yes. an anointing that we can complete any task that you set before us. Give us a fresh anointing for energy and uh, with the smallest accomplishment, and we'll glorify you in your name. Create in us a willing spirit and a glad heart. Give us ambitions to work hard and the strength to finish whatever we start. Help us to be honest in our dealings and responsible in the tasks that you've assigned to us. Help us to cooperate with coworkers and, and our colleagues so that they and we see the value in all of those who work with us. Fuel our conversations with love and grace that we may speak our faith in you. Lord, watch over our workplace and keep it safe from harm while we do our jobs. Make our hands always prepared to help lighten the load of others. Lord, remind us that remind us that the quality of our work is reflects you and those around us. Use us as a vessel of goodness for the people around us. May we consistently encounter the presence of Christ as we interact with us. Father, your word says in 1 Corinthians 15, 58, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain, it's in the Lord. Father, and 2 Timothy 3 and 17, for the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished in a good work. So, Father, we thank you for these jobs and careers. Continue to give us favor, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Continue to open up doors, Father, for, our, for your people. Continue to guide them to the right job, the right position, the right business. Continue to bring in the right partnerships with those with other people of like-minded that believe in you. Father, we pray these things in the name of Jesus, knowing that you are a faithful God. And you hear our prayers, Lord. You hear our prayers and we'll answer them. And we're grateful to you, Lord, on this national day of prayer, knowing that you're doing exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. God is a good God on this National Day of Prayer. We just want to pause and ask God for help. We just want to pause and tell God, thank you. We just want to pause and bless the Lord. The Bible says, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that's within us, bless his name. So on this National Day of Prayer, bless you, Lord. We honor you. Thank you for all that you are in our lives. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap. Somebody bless the Lord as Angela Batiste come and lead us in prayer on this National Day of Prayer. So glad that you're tuned in. Don't touch that dial. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be exceedingly glad in it. Father, your word says to enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. Yes. Be thankful unto you and bless your holy name. Yes. Father, we come to you as a body of believers in the name of Jesus Christ. We cover our nation with the precious blood of Jesus yes. as we pray salvation and forgiveness of our sins. Yes. We thank you and thank praise you. you for your love, grace, and mercy, your word, your hedge of protection, and healing power over our mind, body, and spirits, Father. We thank you for your son, Jesus, and the authority that you've given us to cancel every assignment over the enemy. We thank you that you lead, guide, direct, and protect our steps as we trust in you and lead not into our own understanding. As we walk by faith and not by sight, we thank you for your peace Yes. that surpasses all understanding yes. and that the joy of the Lord is our strength. We thank you thank that you are 
that your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Father, I ask that you create in us a clean heart and renew the right spirit with us, within us, in Jesus' precious name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness on this National Day of Prayer. We just pause and say thank you for all your help. Somebody just shout, help! Lord, we need your help. Today, we need your help. We want to pray for your lost loved ones. We want to pray for souls to be saved in your family. We want to pray that God will bless them. We want to pray that God will help them. We want to pray for lost souls in your family. Pastor Calvin Nelson is going to lead us in prayer on this National Day of Prayer. Hallelujah. Father, you said it is your will that all men be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. And on this national day of prayer, God, we lift up souls to you. You said that the harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. So pray the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth laborers. And that's you. That's you, the prayer warriors of God. That's you, the people of God. Hallelujah. And God has called us and sent us forth. Hallelujah. He has called me many, but few were chosen, and you are the chosen ones to pray for souls, to lift them up, souls in your family, souls on your job, souls in every situation, souls in the grocery store. Let your light so shine that they can see your soul shining, and their soul is drawn to your light. Thank you for souls today. In the name of Jesus, you said you would give us power after the Holy Ghost would come upon us and that we would be your sons and your daughters and we would go forth in the world. And so God, today, God, today, the souls belong to you. You said all souls are mine. And because they are, God, the soul cannot die. Hallelujah, because it belongs to you. Hallelujah, but it can burn in hell or it can live forever. And so, God, it's your will that no man should perish. Hell wasn't made for man. Hell was not made for our souls. It was made for the devil and his angels. And so today, God, we pray for the harvest of souls. Hallelujah. Make the devil pay back what he has stolen through the coronavirus, God. Hallelujah for souls, God. Over half a million of them, God. Hallelujah. I don't know where they went, but God, that the souls that here are here and remain, we lift them up before you today and ask you to have mercy, God. However you do it, draw them in. Draw them in by your spirit. Draw them in by your mercy. Draw them in by your grace. It's your will that no man perish, God. Hallelujah. But all come to repentance. And so we lift up souls to you today. Souls in our family. Souls in our church. Souls in our community, God. We lift up the lost souls of Israel to you today. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The chosen family. The chosen God. And now we are the chosen today. Choose our souls to live with you forever. That's what you made heaven for, God. And you said the souls that are yours will enjoy a new heaven and a new earth hallelujah that you have made for the eternal soul so thank you God for souls today souls of our loved ones please Lord hear us when we pray for our young people souls of our teenagers hallelujah that are being lost every day through drugs and through gang wars God souls of our young people God save souls today and let them be added to the church because that's what you said and the Lord added daily to the church such as should be saved so thank you for the souls that you are saving today in Jesus name we pray thank you Lord souls amen and amen souls oh somebody give the Lord a hand clap souls thank you for lost souls God is a good God on this National Day of Prayer. There's somebody that need healing. There's somebody that's sick. There's somebody that's got a bad diagnosis. God is a healer. God is a deliverer on this National Day of Prayer. We cry out for your healing. We cry out for your deliverance. In Jesus' name, would you welcome Minister Teresa Hawkins as she asks God to heal our nation, to heal us in your sickness. 
Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Isaiah 53 and 5 says, But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. Father, we're standing on your word. We thank you for the blood that came out of every stripe. We thank you, God, for the blood that came from your piercing of your body. Father, let your blood, your healing blood, heal every sickness and disease. Let your blood heal cancer. Let your blood heal diabetes. Let your blood heal every rare disease. surgery. You are healed from that, from whatever you're going through. You are healed in every area of your life. Thank you for healing. Somebody raise your hand and say, I receive it. Somebody put it on the screen. I receive it. Somebody put it on the screen. I receive my healing. Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Somebody say amen. God is a wonderful Savior. He loves you. Everything is going to be all right. We need God's Holy Spirit in our lives. We need God's power in our lives, in our nation. At this time, uh, Carmel Simpkins is going to come and lead us in prayer, thanking God for the power of the Holy Spirit. We thank thank God for John 14 and 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. So, Father, we thank you today for the power of the Holy Ghost. We thank you for the direction and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord, that your ways are higher than our ways. So we ask for the power of the Holy Spirit to teach us. We ask for the power of the Holy Spirit to guide us. We ask for the power of the Holy Spirit to direct our lives and order our steps according to the word of God. We ask that the blinders are removed, that we will see the ways of God, the plans of God, the purposes of God. So Holy Spirit, invade us more of you and less of us. So we give you all the praise and the honor and the glory that we will have lives directed by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Not by power nor by might, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. Father, thank you for the working of the Holy Ghost in every area of our lives. Lead our president with the Holy Ghost. Lead our senators with the Holy Ghost. Lead our congressmen with the Holy Ghost. Lead our mayors with the Holy Ghost. Lead our governors with the Holy Ghost. 
Lead our representative with the Holy Ghost on this national day of prayer. Lead them by your power. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you for the leading and the working of the Holy Ghost. And Lord, forgive us as a nation as we turn our backs on you. Forgive us. Forgive us. Forgive us as we kill a million of babies through abortion. Forgive us. Forgive us as a nation as we've left the laws of your Bible. Forgive us as a nation. We are sorry. Forgive us and turn us around in the name of Jesus. We need your help. Somebody just shout help. Somebody say help. Somebody say help. Forgive us. Forgive America in the name of Jesus in areas where we have grieved your heart. God, forgive us and help us and bless us one more time in the name of Jesus. We love you. We appreciate you. And we just want to say thank you. You've been good to us. You brought us through the coronavirus. We're coming out. And today we want to pause and just say thank you. We want to pause and just say that we are grateful. We want to pause and say that we appreciate you. We want to pause and say that we honor you. We want to pause and say that we love you. Thank you for all your help. Somebody say thank you. Put it on the screen. Thank you. Thank you for blessing us. Thank you for helping us. Thank you for bumping the doors for us. Thank you for making ways for us. In Jesus' name, will you welcome Elder William Harris for a prayer of thanksgiving for our nation. Thank Father, you, Lord. we thank you for our nation. We owe you praise for a free America. We thank you, Lord, for the thank freedom you. to pray. We thank you, Lord, for the freedom Say to it, worship sir. you. We thank, thank you, you, Lord, for the freedom thank to come you. into your house thank and you. to give you praise. Thank we you. say thank you thank for you. all that you are in thank our you. lives in America. Thank we you. thank you for blessing oh. America. We thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank we are grateful. Thank you. We thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All that you've done thank for you. us. We thank say you. thank you thank in you. Jesus' name. Oh. Amen. Thank you. Somebody put your hands together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all your help. Thank you. Thank you for all your blessings. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for it is good. Thank you, for the Lord, for all your help. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you for tuning in with us on this National Day of Prayer. We just pause to cry out to the Lord. We just pause and say thank you. We just pause to ask for help. Somebody just shout help. We just pause to celebrate that you are still here. Somebody say, I'm still here. Put it on the screen. I'm still here. Would you welcome Minister Tracer Walker as she pronounced a blessing on this day. God bless you. And the Lord spoke unto Moses. And he said, tell Aaron and his sons, this is how you are to bless the Israelites. Say to them, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. So they will put my name upon the children of Israel and I will bless them. Father God, we just thank you today for this national day of prayer. Father, we thank you that we have an opportunity to come together as a nation and a world, oh God, to say thank you for everything that you've done. Thank you for getting us through to May 6th, oh God. You did not have to do it, but you loved us so much, oh God, that you gave us this day, this day of prayer, this day of worship. Oh, Father, we never forget what you do for us, oh Father, so we thank you. We thank you, oh Father, for this day, this day in history, this day, May 6, 2021. We say thank you, Father, for all that you have done. Please receive it in your heart, wherever you may be in this world. Receive the blessing. Receive the blessing of the Lord. Receive his love in your heart. Receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap. You are still here. No matter where you are, you are still here. Thank God for life. Thank God for life and health. You are still here. Somebody put it on the screen. I'm still here. Somebody put it on the screen. I'm still here.
somebody put it on the screen. I'm still alive. I can give God a hallelujah. I can praise him. You are still here on this National Day of Prayer. Thank you for all your help. Thank you for all your blessings. We are still here. God bless you for tuning in on this National Day of Prayer. We love you and may the favor of the Lord rest upon you. May God smile on you. May he answer your prayer. You are still here. Somebody say, I'm still here. We leave you today with those words that you are still here. We leave you today with that declaration that you are still here. We leave you today with that supernatural pronouncement that you are still here. You are still here. God bless you. And may the favor of the Lord rest upon your life. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap just because I'm still here. You are still here. God is a good God. He loves you and everything is going to be all right. Thank you, Lord, for all your help. You are still here. Thank you for hearing our prayers. Thank you for blessing us. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for answering our prayers. Thank you for America. Thank you for America. God, help us. Help our police officers. Oh, God, turn their hearts. Turn their mind. Help our judges. Help our lawmakers to be righteous in their decisions and in their actions. Help us on this National Day of Prayer. Help us in America. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. God loves you. Everything's going to be all right. Somebody give the Lord a praise. 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 Somebody out there give the Lord a praise. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. God bless you. We'll see you next time. God bless you. Have a great day. God bless you.